Hello, everyone. So uh, today we'll discuss about a new use case that is built with um, IBM RPA. So let's talk about the scenario real quick. So uh, an organization has partnered with an external learning vendor to upskill their employees. So the requirement is to complete the course within 60 days of the enrollment date. But there is organization is to ensure that all employees are completing the course on time. They are maybe required follow up needed for that. Learning vendor will send a report with the employees who didn't complete the courses on time to the organization. So organization needs to fetch other information like email IDs, uh, course details from an internal database. And finally, need to send email to the internal employees to finish the courses on priority. So let's see what is the process flow involved here and why we need IBM RPA. So there are many manual steps involved in this process, like logging into the email account, and searching for an email that learning vendor is sending, download the report, find out their default and employee IDs, fetching additional information called, I mean, such an email ID, uh, course details from internal database, and sending a reminder emails to individual employees. And at the last step, RPA bot can send an acknowledgement email with a summary to share a team saying that how many employees got notification today who needs to complete the courses. Now let's go and check the demo. This is the email where learning vendor will send the report who didn't complete the courses and bot will log in and extract the report. So after extracting the report, bot will download in the local system in this folder. And after processing, it will move the file in the archive folder. This is a yesterday's file. Okay. So now let's go to that database. So this is the database where employees, IDs, data bot, emails, course, and everything is there. So bot will query in this database to get email IDs and course details. So now let's go to that automation window. So this is the automation studio where we build the code. So this will, the, uh, it will come connect to the SQL server. And after that, it will call to subroutines. One for extracting email report from that email. And second part is fetching other details from the database and sending email to the individuals who needs to complete the course. Now let's run this um, program and see how bot is handling the whole workflow. So we we'll look at the output section. So bot is trying to connect that email box. It's connected and file downloaded successfully. It fetched all the employee details, whom needs to be notified, and email sent. So let's go to that email box and see. So we can see here that email, a bot already uh, sent the emails with that um, employees, individual employees with course name, course code, enrollment date, everything. Right, and we keep the same email ID as, as for our demo purpose so that we can project is better. So now we'll go to the same item and see that after finishing the task, bot has sent an summary email to HR department saying that how many employees got notified today to complete the course. So now quickly go and see how we scheduled for daily run. So here is the scheduler. We put the script 
that will run on a particular time every day once the learning vendor send that report. So now we'll go to that folder structure and see that after processing, bot moved that file to the archive folder. Thanks for watching. This way we eliminated a huge manual task easily and efficiently with IBM RPA. Thanks for watching.